What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be featuring a new tattoo company on this channel. Meaning I haven't featured this tattoo company yet. So this will be the first video on them. Check out Wormhole Tattoo. Alright, so Wormhole Tattoo sent me a bunch of stuff. Basically, I think they sent everything that you could use as a tattoo beginner. Like a power supply, a foot switch. Uh, machine here another machine here and of course the carts so let's take a look at what they gave me let's start off with the foot switch or the foot pedal all right let's open her up damn that's a really good looking pedal and i feel like it's a big pedal yup it is a nice nice size pedal it's metal I think this is plastic, but this is metal. Now this is aluminum, this part. Really nice. And yeah, lots of cable. I think it's about maybe one meter long. Yeah. So first off, I really like this foot pedal. I mean, it looks super dope. I mean, check it out. I mean, it's nice. It looks good. All right, next up, let's put this thing aside. I have used this, by the way. And I've made my apprentice use it as well. Let's check out the power supply. This one I have not used at all. It's still sealed as well. So this will be my first time checking it out. Okay. So another box inside the box. Jeez. Power cable. And here it is, a little power supply. It looks pretty nice. Uh, it's a standard liner shader. Uh, so it does have a swap feature already. Meaning you can, you can put in two uh, cords and you just swap between them. Up voltage, down voltage, and foot switch. Uh, basically the basic power supply, but when I started tattooing, having these two things wasn't basic. Like it was a it was a luxury. So I guess the basic stuff now is much better than it used to be. So here it is. All right, let's put that aside. Put these boxes aside as well. Uh, next up, let's open up the cartridges. I mean, they sent me a whole bunch. They sent me a lot, well not a lot, like five boxes of different um, configurations. Uh, but let's just open one and check it out. Now guys, like I have used their cartridges in the past. There you go, that's what they look like. I really dig the whole black and green aesthetic. I mean, it looks really nice. And the needle quality, I would say is sufficient. Like. They can line and they can shade. Um, I normally use these needles. I use a smaller configuration when it comes to this brand. And I use it on more of like the minimalist style tattoos. You know, the Pinterest tattoos that people love to get. You know, when you're starting out and you don't know what tattoo you really want. And it's their first tattoo. A lot of people get like Pinterest type tattoos. So next up, let's open up this box right here. I have not opened this box yet. I feel I've opened this one and I've used this one. But let's open this one. Check it out. Okay, we're greeted with more boxes. What's this? Uh, this is like a RCA cable. That's a pretty big box for an RCA cable. It's a thick RCA cable too, which I prefer rather than the thin ones. And let's open up this one. Ooh, what is this? This is a nice thin short pen. Well, not so short now. Wormhole logo right there. Uh, this is pretty tight, like, but you can you can turn this part. I kind of I don't know if I like that it's tight. I prefer it when it's smooth or when there's like a click. But yeah, it's a nice short and somewhat short, but like a really small diameter pen. So I feel like. It caters to people that want to like tattoo and make it feel like you're just drawing with a pen or a marker. 
I'm not a fan of these small uh, diameter grips, but hey, it's pretty nice. And the material that they use here is uh, not cheap. It's a solid piece of machinery. It's metal. They use metal in this one. I like it. All right, let's put that aside. I'm not with the other stuff from wormhole. Now let's open up this one. And this is the one that they really wanted me to make a video on, which is their wireless tattoo pen. All right, let's check it out. Right off the bat on the picture, it looks eerily similar to Dragonhawk's tour pen, uh, the mass tour. But let's check it out and the battery pack looks similar too but in china that's like the basic battery pack that they have so let's open it up all right so here is the machine has their logo on it right away the thing i noticed well okay so i think the adjustment thing is right here on top that is pretty tight I think I need to lube this, or I don't know if it's really meant to be tight. But this is a, the one to adjust the needle depth, and it's a bit tight, but okay. It's very, very light because the material they used is not steel or metal or aluminum. I don't know what material this is, but it's very light. And here is our battery pack, which is the typical battery pack that you find in China. So let's pop it in. I think it has to be aligned, right? Like, there we go. And start her up. There we go. Typical machine, quite a bit of vibration, but not too much, and pretty good. So you press it once and it just adjusts the volume by one. So it's at six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. So let's pop it back to seven. And let's turn it off. All right, there you go. And this machine comes with another charging thing and another RCA cable. They advertise it to be their wireless pen machine, but in reality, it's a rotary pen type machine with a battery pack that comes with it when you buy it. So that's that's how it's wireless. But in reality, it's not like completely wireless. But I mean, they give you a battery pack with the machine. So there you go. But you do have an option to run it with RCA, which I would suggest doing, especially with these uh, lower tier machines, lower budget machines, so that it's a more constant power from the power supply rather than using battery packs but you can still use this and i used it on the video so check out the tattoo that i made using this machine so that you can be the judge if you would like to purchase stuff from this company uh, it is a pretty budget friendly tattoo company and yeah i think it really does cater to like beginners so check it out check out the video so this is a red ink tattoo. I am using the pen from Wormhole Tattoo and I am only using a 3RL for the lining and the shading of this tattoo. So here you can see me lining using a 3RL cartridge and as I wipe it you can see that the lines are quite solid. Now I am shading using the same 3RL cartridge. I opted to not use like a solid um, saturation render on the shading. So I'm using like a pendulum motion to give it that nice little sketchy look as well as whip shading as you can see right here. More on the whip shading in just a little bit. And here we go whip shading once again. By the way, I am using Radiant red ink on this i believe it is blood red if i'm not mistaken and yeah so whip shading along you'll see me creating a nice gradient uh slowly though so i have to be fair and i have to say that 
when it came to uh, whip shading and packing color with this machine, it took quite a while. Um, a little bit longer than I would have liked, but then again, this is red ink into a whip shade, so it's a little bit different than just black ink, right? Alright, so upon my research and actual use experience of their equipment, I can safely say that Wormhole Tattoo has not yet defined what they want to be as a tattoo company. Now, they are fairly new, so let's see what they're gonna put out next. But right now, from what I have seen, the equipment and stuff that they're putting out is basically catered towards beginners. Now, if you are a tattoo beginner, doing these online lessons or whatever because it's pandemic practicing on like practice skins then this product or this company their products might be the one for you so do check them out um, they are priced very competitively on the lower bracket market so you can safely say that they are trying to appeal to the new beginners and budget tattoo artists out there and I feel like they're trying to market it towards, uh, I don't want to come out political or whatever, but I feel like they're targeting like um, third world countries, kind of like my country, uh, because it's all over in our like, our Amazon, if you will, which is Lazada, you can find it there. And it's priced very low. Uh, I have used it to tattoo as you saw there with that red butterfly. I mean, the machine did the job, right? It did, it did the fine job. I did not have any difficulty with that tattoo at all. Uh, granted, I have only used it one time upon receiving the item. And on that one time though, it did the job right. Now, will I be using it more? I should be using it more on like easy minimalist tattoos so that we can test out the longevity of the motor or whatever. But based off what I have noticed, it seems to be fine and really guys, uh, I would only get these equipment or these machines or whatever if you're like a beginner or entry level artist. Not saying that it's bad for like professionals or like intermediate people, but there's a lot of other options, right? So if you're a beginner, check them out. Now when it comes to their cartridges and needles, that on the other hand, you as a intermediate or professional, depending on where you hail from or where you come from, you might be interested in getting their cartridges because they're basically the same cartridges that come out from China. They all come from the same factory and they are priced fairly cheap. Uh, so if you're in the Philippines or whatever Asian country and you want like budget needles that are safe, they are sterile, like there's, they have that blue dot thing so that you know that they ran it through a clave or something like that. Or you could even clave it yourself if you want. It's good, like I've used the cards, I've, I've used them on a couple of other tattoos that, um, that I use with different machines and they all work. Alright guys, that's it for this video, don't forget to hit that like comment below subscribe to the channel hit that bell so that you're notified on what's coming next and i'll see you all on the next video later